Okay. How are you? Thank you, thank you. What a great, great privilege it is to be here with all of you in this astounding hall. I would like to thank Carol, Under Secretary General Gallick, for the kind words and welcome. This is an amazing privilege to be with the future leaders of our world. I understand, I've been told that there are about 1,500 students here representing 193 countries of the UN. My name is Mandy Patinkin, and I voice Papa Smurf in the new Smurf, The Lost Village. We are so excited. I just wish that the whole world, the world's leaders, had your energy, because if they did, this world would be the happiest place in the universe. We, we are so excited to be here, along with the, alongside the United Nations and UNICEF, to share our campaign. Small Smurfs, Big Goals. This campaign is designed to inspire people of all ages around the world to learn about and support the Sustainable Development Goals. The Sustainable Development Goals are a plan to end poverty, fight injustice, and combat climate change. They are part of a massive, ambitious initiative adopted by member states at the 2015 United Nations General Assembly. These goals are important because the real impact, because of the real impact they have on people's lives, including refugees. I have just come back from visiting refugee families in Lesbos, Greece, Serbia, and Germany. Some of the most beautiful human beings I've ever met. Beautiful families, beautiful children, the most vulnerable among us. All humanity needs your and our support. Team, Team Smurfs is ready to help. In fact, we've put together a new video to tell you a little more about it. Here's Joe. <laughs> hey, I'm Demi Lovato. My name is Mandy Patinkin. This is Joe Manganiello. Hi, I'm Michelle Rodriguez. I voice Smurfette. Papa Smurf. I'm the voice of Hefty. Smurf Storm. What's your deal, anyway? <laughs> and the upcoming animated movie, Smurf the Lost Village. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing makes a Smurf happier than seeing people help each other and protect the planet. And guess what? The United Nations has a plan to do just that. Go on, go on. It's called the Sustainable Development Goals. There are 17 goals. They include things like getting all girls and boys into schools. Keeping our land and oceans clean. Whoa! Making sure everybody is healthy and has enough nutritious food to eat. And clean, safe water to drink. Our world is a big place, but each and every one of us can make a difference, regardless of our size. All of us, even a small smurf, can help achieve big goals. What are you going to do? I'm going to ride my bike home. Well done. I'm going to commit to not waste food. I'm going to take public transportation. Ah! Ah! Get ideas at smallsmurfsbiggoals.com. Join Team Smurf to help our world. Change is in your hands. Right, guys? Hi, I'm Joe Manganello, and I voice. Thanks, thank you. <laughs> and I voice Hefty Smurf, and I am so incredibly happy and humbled to be here at the UN in front of you all, being able to contribute by doing what we all do best in Hollywood, which is tell memorable stories. We make people laugh, and if we're lucky, we can also make people think. I'm 
Demi Lovato and I voice Smurfette. We hope our campaign will help all of us think about how our actions impact the planet. Every one of us, even a small Smurf, can accomplish big goals. We understand that achieving these goals can seem like a daunting task, and it is. Big goals are hard, but everyone has the power to make a small change, and many small changes build to bigger ones. Together, as a team, we can accomplish anything. In, in collaboration with the United Nations, UNICEF, and the UN Foundation, the Smurfs want to help people across the globe learn more about the Sustainable Development Goals and how to take action. We want everyone to join Team Smurfs and help make the world a better place. And all of you can join Team Smurf by visiting smallsmurfsbiggoals.com to find out what you can do. And it's there that you can take the quiz to discover which goal is best suited for your individual interests. Hey, why don't we take a quiz right now? What do you think makes Smurf Village a happy place? Okay. Okay, okay. I'm hearing a lot of poverty, uh, but I would say maybe zero hunger. Okay. Now, what do you think every Smurf needs to live well? I'm going to say, I hear all of you, I'm sure all of those things are important. I would like to also add a healthy environment. The next question, a healthy environment so we can breathe and have water to drink and good clean food to eat and help those who don't have that kind of environment to help them find a way to get it. That's what we need to teach our leaders to do all over the world. I present you with another question. What do you think will help Smurf Village, which is just a mirror of planet Earth, thrive in the future? I would say technology and innovation. And last question, what should Papa Smurf prioritize to give Smurf children the best future? Since I play hefty Smurf, I'm going to say good health. We got Smurfette. All right, so when you're done, the quiz reveals which Smurf shares your interests. Then you pick your goal. Share your results with your friends and family on social media and then encourage them to pick a goal and have them get involved. You know, I just have to say, I actually feel like Papa Smurf because I've been paying attention to the quiz, but I don't think I quite understand how it works. So... <laughs> So, so I, need, I, need, I need my children, all the Smurfs, to explain it to me once again. There are 17 goals, from getting all girls and boys into schools, to keeping our land and oceans clean, to make sure everyone has enough nutritious food, food to eat and clean, safe water to drink. Goal number three includes a cause that's very close to my heart, mental health and well-being. Team Smurfs is rallying behind these 17 goals and celebrating the International Day of Happiness. Why? Because better, cleaner, more, a more peaceful world means a happier world. I know I speak for all of us here when I say we couldn't be more honored 
to be a part of this incredible initiative with the United Nations, UNICEF and the UN Foundation. And especially to have an opportunity to speak to young people like yourselves who have the power, the true voice, the fearless power to make an impact and protect our future and particularly for those in our world who are most vulnerable. And, let's face it, before we leave, we want, we need, we insist that we introduce you to a few very important guests. Earlier today, we had the privilege of meeting three young individuals who are doing their part to achieve the Sustainable Development Goals. These young people were given the keys to Smurf Village in recognition of all they've done to make the world a better place. Here they come. So please help me welcome Karan Jarath, Serena Devan, and Noor Sami. Question to UNICEF Youth Champion Noor Sami. Noor, you used social media and blogs to tell people about the Sustainable Development Goals. Could you tell us a little bit about what you did and your advice to young people who would like to do the same? Hi, Demi. Thank you so much. So, um, what I usually do is um, I use social media and uh, blog posts to get the word out for social justice and humanitarian change. I've been doing this since I was in third grade. It's something I'm really passionate about, and I think it's really important. Um, I think it's really important also for kids to recognize um, that it's okay to put yourself out there, even if you're young. Um, I would not have gotten any of the opportunities I have in my life if I wasn't confident enough to be myself, to get out there, to, um, you know, put myself out there. Um, and I think that if you have the confidence, then um, you can get opportunities you never think you could have. Uh, you can do things you never thought you could. Um, and I think it's also important to recognize that, you know, in whatever field you're in, whatever job you do, there is a way to change the world. Um, you can do it as a librarian, putting books on the shelves for uh, social justice and having kids read them. Um, that in itself is small, but it makes a big difference. Um, as a minority, just your presence in an un unwelcoming room can make a huge difference. Um, it can change the way people see, judge, and stereotype the world around them. Next, youth champion Karan Jarat. I first want to commend you on your choice of wardrobe, my friend. The, the blue suit, you're looking very sharp today. <laughs> yeah, give it up. <laughs> All right. I have a question for you. You're a UN young leader for the Sustainable Development Goals. Tell us about how you're making a difference and what other young people can do to also make a difference. Yeah, absolutely. So um, my passion to pursue these global goals stemmed from a device that I invented to clean up oil spills in the subsea environment. I was inspired by the Deepwater Horizon spill, and at that time, I had no upper level knowledge or any technical experience. I was just 17 years old and was wanting to make an impact. Through research and experimentation, I began to develop my idea and ensured that, the, that it had a sustainable component incorporated for example, my device has the ability to sit on, t on, on top of a leak and collect the water, oil, and gas and separate it at the source. This allows you to recycle the phases immediately rather than incinerating it. And so I competed in a variety of science fair competitions, such as the Intel International Science and Engineering Fair, and used it as a platform to share my ideas and to continue learning. From this experience, I realized that as youth, we have very influential voices and must use them for the greater good. I strongly believe that everybody can make a difference and can contribute to finding lasting and impactful solutions. And as global citizens, I encourage you to become engaged and realize that you are not too young to elect your future. Thank you.
I have to tell you that when I get the privilege to come to an event like this and listen to all of you speak and hear what you're doing and what you're working on and what you're attending to, it is the greatest food for my soul and my heart. It gives me so much hope and optimism and it makes me not so afraid of the future. I bless you and thank you all. I, I, have, I have a final, a final question for the United Nations Foundation Youth Champion, Serena Devon. Serena, why is the empowerment of girls and women important to achieve for the Sustainable Development Goals? As a teen advisor for Girl Up of the United Nations Foundation, I strongly believe that you cannot fulfill these goals without empowering and educating adolescent girls around the world. How can you achieve these massive goals without fulfilling the potential of half the world's population? You can't. It's impossible. <laughs> Not only that, though, you need to pay specific attention to the issues that girls and women face when you're trying to fully fulfill these goals. For example, you can't set goals for climate action without realizing that girls and women face an incredible disadvantage due to climate change. They have to walk further to get water and resources for their families. Or when you're talking about economic growth, you have to consider getting more women involved in the workforce, especially in STEM fields. By paying specific attention to their issues, you can fully fulfill these massive goals. Of course, as a Girl Up Teen Advisor, Goal 5, Gender Equality, is by far my favorite, but you can look into all these other goals and see that empowerment for girls and women is throughout them. Bravo. Thank you all. These three remarkable young individuals who are just like you have made a difference in the world and exemplify what our campaign is all about. Thank you for all taking action and inspiring others to get involved through social media and your own hearts and energy all over our planet. Thank you. So, so, with all of us here together, I would like to make a suggestion. Let's commemorate this moment with a group photo. I would like to welcome back Christina and Carol along with Team Smurfs themselves. <laughs> now, everybody, if you would please raise your masks and please remain seated. But my personal suggestion is let your face be shown. You know, don't put the mask in front of your face because we want to see your face. All right? Here we go. Good, good, good. Tell me when you've got the photo. Where do I go? Uh-oh, so we're in the photo. Yeah, you're facing it. You're facing it. 